There hasn't been another team in college football more lucky to win a game than the Miami Hurricanes are right now. They, Miami looked like complete garbage the entire game. The entire game. Virginia Tech had their way with them. Throwing the ball, running the ball, whatever Virginia Tech wanted to do offensively, Miami let them do it. Virginia Tech has a lead all, all the way through. All the way through. And... They get down to the last couple of minutes of the of the game, and and yeah, Miami comes back, but Cam Ward, dang near single handedly, brought Miami back. Goes at least fifty yards down the field, scores a, a touchdown, gives them the lead by like you know a couple of points, and. Virginia Tech gets the ball back with like a minute and 53 seconds left to go in the game. And through a combination of bad clock management and some of the worst coaching decisions I've seen in a while, Virginia Tech kind of squanders a lot of opportunities. But Virginia Tech gets all the way down inside the the 50, I believe, or right around midfield, you know, give or take. And throws this Hail Mary pass. All the players jump up. They come down with it. It, It's initially ruled a touchdown, which gives Virginia Tech the lead again. And it literally, like, the game time expired while this play was was taking place. But they sent it off for review. They review it for several minutes. Um, both teams have thought they won. You know, at the end of the play, you know, my, a Miami player comes up with the ball and goes running off with it. All the players run out on the field. The referees have to basically call everybody back and tell the coaches to put put the teams back on the sidelines that they need to to look at this at this play. This uh, incredibly long review ensues. And they ruled that it was an incomplete pass because there wasn't enough firm control of the ball. And you can say what you want about that. You know, personally, I thought he had enough firm control, but whatever. You know, I, I was just a dude sitting at home watching it on a Friday night. But, you know, they ruled the, the catch incomplete. So they take the points off the board. Miami ends up winning by two or three points. Miami, but but over even though Miami won this game, Miami made a lot of us look kind of dumb. You know, I got on here a couple of days ago talking about you know is Miami one of the next big things and to come around in in college football with this and all these impressive wins they've had so far in the season, and, and with the way things were going with their quarterback play and all that. Now, now, granted, you know Cam Ward had a had a okay night I, or a decent. Night. I don't. I don't have his stats in front of me, but you know, just the way the game went. You know, everybody's looking at each other, going, you know, is Virginia Tech fixing to have their first top ten road win? And you know, God knows how long. Uh, the same Virginia Tech that lost to Vanderbilt back, I think, in week one. So you know, Miami go comes into this game as a, a two touchdown favorite at least you know, and trail the whole thing. And the only reason Miami wins this thing is because of an incomplete pass that personally was probably a bad call that, you know, ended, like I said, ended up being called incomplete, should have probably gone Virginia Tech's way. So, but Miami, y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all may have some explaining to do. I mean, just, and a lot of people are saying, and me as well, traditionally bad coaching from Mario Cristobal. You know, problems, you know, that he has had since his time at Oregon. You know, and, you know, the, the big thing with him, you know, we've seen him win all these blowout games, but how is a Mario Cristobal coach team going to do in a close game? Not very well. You know, Virginia Tech, a two and two Virginia Tech who lost to Vanderbilt took you down to the wire. And the only reason you beat them is because of a call at the end of the game that reversed a touchdown. So I don't know. You know, like I said, I got on here, you know, singing their praises because of, of how well they've been doing so far in the season. 
they still got Clemson coming up. Now, you know, could they right this ship and, you know, still end up in the ACC championship game and potentially the playoffs? Maybe. But the team that played tonight for Miami, if they make it to the playoffs, they wouldn't go – they probably would not be there as the ACC champions, and they'll probably lose in the first round if they if they make it there at all. Um, you know, I've talked before about you know, you know, with the way the ACC is, and you know, the some of the lack of the talent thereof. You know, Miami could still probably, you know, get into the the, the playoffs if they take, you know, obviously the ACC, ACC champion, but you know, another team or two makes it in, they could probably still get in that way if they don't win the – end up winning the, the conference. But, you know, th- this team that played tonight, like I said, they – and Virginia Tech, uh, you know what? I mean, Virginia Tech's two and two. And I know one of their losses was to Vanderbilt. I don't follow ACC football that closely. But, you know, has, has Virginia Tech been lying to us all season? Are they a better – an exponentially better team than the two and two team that, that went into Miami tonight. Now, yeah, heartbreaking loss for them. Now they sit at, at two and three. And, and I'm sure every Virginia Tech player, coach, and fan is going to say bad call at the end of the game. You know, he had the ball caught, caught it all the way through the ground, you know, whatever. But, you know, we ain't, we're not getting that back. You know, they rolled it a touchdown and they, they obviously found enough video evidence to, to overrule it, but a, a wild finish to a very unexpected game, the, the way it went. Like I said, Miami was at least a 14-point favorite, and we were expecting another blowout, to be, to be perfectly honest with you. We, we really were. I, wasn't, I, didn't really, I didn't watch every play of the game. Because I didn't see this happen, you know. If I could go back a couple of hours, then yeah, I would. I'd watch every play of the game, you know, because of how it ended up, because of how it ended up unfolding. But a, a good game nonetheless. You know, Virginia Tech goes on to two and three, and uh, Miami goes on to five and zero. Oh. Um, so you know, still undefeated, ranked number seven. I, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Depending on what happens with some other teams, I, you know what? I'm not going to be surprised if Miami drops a spot or two. They just didn't have a good showing, and you know, to be playing at home on a Friday night, you know, a, a Friday night game is supposed to be one of the hardest games to play for a road team which would have been Virginia Tech. They cruised through this thing. Now, Virginia Tech, they they had some questionable play calling and coach calling themselves. You know, they had one instance in the game where, you know, they were about to kick a field goal and they faked it, didn't get it. The balls turned back over to uh, Miami because it was a fourth down play. Miami goes down and scores. If you just take the points there, that's, you know, Virginia Tech would have three more points, and at least for that touchdown, Miami would have seven seven less. They would have had to make up that, that touchdown elsewhere, and they wouldn't have been in this situation at the end. So, you know, both teams had some, some questionable play calling, but, well, I mean, we'll see moving forward, you know, how everything kind of shakes out in the ACC. I think it's – the ACC is probably more open than than most conferences. And it's not like where in the SEC you've got, you know, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Ole Miss, and Texas all at the top, and they're, they're all about kind of the same caliber. We just got to wait till they all start playing each other and see what happens. It's the ACC is not like that. There's not that many teams that are that good that are in parity with each other. So, but but still, there's really no clear. You know, this. You know, before tonight, you know, myself and a lot of other people would have said, "Hey, Miami." You know, with the way they played in the first couple of weeks, you know, how, how can you not be? But 
yeah, the, a, a, a wild finish. It's going to be a wild finish to that season, to the season for that conference. And um, if if the coming weekend slate of games, if this was any indication of what it's going to be like, we we are in for a for a great weekend. But I hope you I hope y'all enjoyed that game. I know I did. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, we got another video coming out tomorrow or later, depending on when you see this one. <clears throat> kind of my rundown of all the, the SEC games tomorrow. You may have already seen it, but um, you know, just kind of just a little brief overview of the the SEC the SEC matchup. So I hope you enjoy your weekend. I hope you enjoy the, the games. We'll see you next time.